You have no power here. What's going on, everybody? It's Anthony here, Six Scale Mafia. Man, Queen Studios, guys. Holy crap. So they announced this morning, or maybe last night, sometime they just announced Six Scale. They're going into the Six Scale game here, and this is a huge game changer. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Queen Studios, but they make some amazing statues, life-size busts. They're incredible art. Now, they just announced this this morning, showcasing off at least six figures right here. So I am super, super excited, and it's it's going to change the game, guys. Anyway, guys, so you can see here, if like, again, if you're not familiar with Queen Studios, they started around 2018 here, and this is directly from their website. Um, so around 2018, they 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 got they caught the attention of Marvel. They got the Marvel license, they got the Terminator license, and they started coming out swinging. Like this Loki is the first life-size bust that was like their debut. Uh, I mean, if you look at some of the photos here, if you're not familiar with Queen Studio, seriously, uh, go look them up, check out what they're doing. They're absolutely phenomenal pieces. And so hearing the the news that they're going into six scale now. Uh, I mean, Hot Toys is going to have a problem. Hot Toys is going to have a problem here. You can absolutely tell that um, they're, they're going to be scrambling. They're going to be scrambling because the Queen Studios, man, I, I, I am so excited with this. I am so excited with this. Now, not much has been revealed yet, right? They did announce, they showed the, the, the six figures here in the silhouettes. But, I mean, we're looking at, obviously, Lord of the Rings. We have a Nazgul. We have Legolas. We have Gandalf. Um, that's going to be awesome. That's going to be so awesome. I don't know what Asmus is going to be doing with that one now, too, because remember, they're doing the Lord of the Rings six scales. So it's very, very interesting, guys. I mean, who knows what the future holds, though, right? I mean, they have every license so far. They have the Marvel license, the DC license, they have Lord of the Rings. Hey, I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know what the future holds, man. This is like honest, like first reaction here. I'm super excited because... What is Hot Toys going to do? That's the real question. Are they just going to continue business as usual? There's so many questions involved in this announcement here, guys. I mean, what is Queen Studios doing? Are they making silicone bodies? Are they using glass eyes? What are they going to do? What's the price going to be? Are they going to be in direct competition with Hot Toys? Does Hot Toys even care? Uh, these are all valid questions that I'm sure will slowly be revealed as time goes on. Either way, it's extremely exciting. Uh, we have, we'd have Queen Studios. We heard that JND was also going to be doing a six scale, um, six scale game as well. So this whole year is going to be very, very interesting as far as Hot Toys is concerned, because now we're going to get competition. Yes, we have third party competition, but now we're going to have like, now we're going to have like real competition though. Y you know what I mean? Because third parties are great. Don't get me wrong. They're not licensed. So here we've got, and plus, these are a whole different league. I can't even compare third-party figures to the likes of Queen Studios or JD. It's not, they're not even in the same league. So knowing that these awesome companies, these are, that do amazing quality statues and busts, are going to be able to shrink down to six scale, can they do it? I, I think they can. I think they can. And I think Hot Toys is not going to, I don't think they're going to be prepared for this. But, you know, at the end of the day, what's going to happen is it's competition and the competition is good for all of us. That's, that's how I look at it because maybe hot toys is going to have to really, really step up their game. Right. Then we also have options. Okay. We'll have queen studio figures. We'll have J and D figures, and then we'll have our hot toys. So I'm just, you know, it's interesting because I really need to know, are they going to do something else? Are they going to say, okay, well we have, we're going to pull, okay, so look at the DC stuff, right? They, they show the Heath Ledger uh, Joker, right? Well, Hot Toys has a Heath Ledger Joker. So it's going to be interesting to see how multiple companies are going to be handling, like, not only this, the same licenses, but maybe even the same figures. So definitely going to bring up questions, you know? Let's say they put out this Heath Ledger Joker, and it's, like, phenomenal. What happens to the value of of the DX versions of Heath Ledger for Hot Toys. Is that still going to hold value? Are people going to be excited to go chase that figure or 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 hold on to the one they have? Or are they going to want to go ahead and like get this one, for example? Um, it, it's just crazy. Every, it's so crazy to think about. Uh, I'm super stoked, though, because we need competition in the game. We need competition. I love Hot Toys, don't get me wrong. 
but I really think that this is going to be healthy competition uh, between companies, and the only people who really win here is us, is the consumers, because we're going to have multiple options to choose from. Of course, this is in very, very early stages, but come on. Can you guys not be any more excited about this? I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I don't like buying the statues because they're too damn expensive. Now, we're going to have to adjust here and think, okay, well, what's the price going to be? What are we looking at price-wise? That's another factor, right? But with Hot Toys, you know, increasing, increasing, increasing. I mean, look at the Batman figure, right? $500 for the deluxe, you know? That's a lot of money. We're already, we're teetering slowly into that statue territory. So, can, can Queen Studios be competitive in their pricing here? Again, we don't know yet. They've just teased. They've just teased, you know, we have the Matrix figures, the Dune figures, Lord of the Rings... We have some DC. They didn't tease any Marvel yet, so or Star Wars. Geez, can you imagine? I don't think anybody's gonna have the Star Wars license, so I think Hot Toys is gonna be safe. But you never know. You never know. You never know, guys. Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you guys excited for Queen Studios? Do you think Hot Toys is worried about this? Is healthy competition good for everybody? Uh, con let's continue the conversation below. Let me know what you think. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for more news and info in our six scale community. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.